I'm Ellie Newton and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to upcycle bottles. So you can do it with jars, bottles, any sort of bottles, wine bottles. Upcycle them, make them useful again. Here's one that I have done uh, just to show you the results you can get. So I painted this in chalk paint in our beautiful dusty rose and added one of our beautiful vintage label transfers to it. Just like that, you've got a little thing of beauty. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do this today. I'm gonna to do three of them. So sit back, grab a cup of tea and enjoy. Right, to get started, choose a design and you can just cut roughly around it. Peel off the backing paper very carefully, making sure you don't put your fingers on the print because it will rub off onto your hand. It's self-sticking, so it'll just sit there and then all you do is scrape over it until the design transfers on to the surface. To seal it, I used our Newton's varnish. I brushed it on with our beautiful Italian varnish brush and that was the job done. I gave it a light sand with our sanding block just to give it a bit of old age patina. For the second bottle, I chose this beautiful word love. It's something to note that it doesn't come out back to front in real life. It's just a recording process that makes it look back to front on this video. So I just scraped over it and there it is. It's good to go. I decorated the bottle with some beautiful little casting resin florals that I had made previously with our redesign moulds. So this casting resin is our brand new product. Uh, all I did was just glue them on with contact glue on to the front of the bottle. I gave it a quick coat of the country green just to finish it and then it was ready for waxing. So I use our lavender beeswax polish, which is just beautiful, and our Italian wax brush. When that was dry, I applied our antiquing wax all over the bottle. While it was still wet, I then rubbed it back. I just used the paper towel, you can use the cloth, whatever and just left the product sitting in the grooves and furrows and in certain spots where I just thought it looked good. For the third bottle, I painted it with our Maison Grey and chose another beautiful design from the redesigned French label pack. I wanted to create like a textured look on this, almost a stone-like finish. So I mixed up a bit of our linen chalk paint and also our colour called Cacao chalk paint. 
into a separate plastic container just a, a small amount you don't need much and then added our sea wash powder into the chalk paint this thickened it up and gave it a beautiful texture which enabled me to be able to dab it on to the pot and create the texture that I was after. Once the sea wash and chalk paint mixture had dried, I clear beeswaxed over the whole bottle. When that was dry, I added the antiquing wax and this really gave it the lovely vintage look. Now you can paint under the bottom if you want to, I just didn't bother in this tutorial. Buff the antiquing wax off while it's still wet and you get this beautiful vintage textured thing of beauty. That was good fun, once again. Um, out of just this bottle, I did three different designs. I did this one, like a stone effect. This one, just plain and simple, with the beautiful words love on, and I made out of our casting resin, these beautiful little florals, and a little heart to put on the front of it. This one here, I painted with our new color, which is Dusty Rose. They've all been painted in chalk paint, obviously, and put this beautiful transfer on it and just varnished it and kept it quite simple, this one. So I really do hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial and um, give it a go. It's a good way, maybe you could sell them at markets, give them away as gifts. It's just upcycling and utilizing and saving things going to the landfill and waste. So to see more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel, make sure you do because every time I upload a new video or tutorial, you'll be advised of it. Thanks very much for watching.